Hey guys, Dave Nicholson here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate your ads using the Instant Airzone plugin. Okay, it's very simple. So once you've got the Instant Airzone plugin installed, if you click on the left hand side navigation here, you'll see Instant Airzone. Uh, and then it will take you to where you can enter all of your sentences. Okay, now we've specifically designed this to be very, very simple to use. So, uh, so you, you won't find any problem at all uh, in putting your details in here. Um, I'm not going to go through every single individual setting because they're mostly self-explanatory, just to simple things. But I'm going to show you, um, go th run through them, skim through them here, you know, and show you all the most important ones. Okay, so the first thing, uh, your JVZoo affiliate ID. You only need this if you want to include the Powered by Instant Ears on. Uh, link which will be placed below the ads and um, what that does there is uh, that provides a link back to instant ears on through your affiliate link okay so anybody clicks on that and they go and buy instant ears on you get a commission so you can uh, click the link there to go and request to be approved and once you're approved just put in your jvzo affiliate id in here so let's say for example it was one two three four five uh, obviously that's not yours but um, if that's what your id was put it in there like that and make sure that checkbox is checked to include the powered by uh, link okay so amazon associates id okay if you haven't already got an amazon associates id you can click the link and go and get one um basically once you've logged in it's dead symbol you'll see your uh, associates id in the top left hand corner here okay you can also um create some tracking IDs if you want to create tracking IDs um, but that's all you basically need you need to grab your in, uh, Amazon Associates ID and put it in there just like that okay select uh, which country you want to display ads from so I'm going to display them from the United States and product search term now you can use product search term and category or either or okay so you can either just put a product search term in for anything you want yeah, that's on Amazon or you can select a category okay so for this example I'm just going to select a category so okay so I'm going to use DIY and tools okay so display settings if you want to display images like I said most of these are self-explanatory just check boxes and drop down menus so very simple if you want to display ratings yeah. Incidentally, the, the ratings are disabled on the preview, which is uh, at the bottom of this page, um, but that's just to obviously speed up the preview, okay? So you'll see those already when the site goes live. Okay, so columns and rows. Basically, columns is obviously the, the vertical, so how many, how many columns you want, and rows is horizontal, so how many rows you want. So that basically decides on how you want your ad block to look. Okay, so I'm going to use, for this example, I'm going to put uh, something that's going to go in a sidebar. Okay, so I would have one column and maybe three rows. Okay, so that'll do one column wide and three rows high. Uh, block of ads. Uh, check that box to randomize the, the, the product. So every time the page is refreshed, they will randomize and display in a different order. If you want to choose that. Uh, for how you want to align it, whether center left or right. Okay, the main background color, this is the background behind the ads. Okay, so this is like the kind of block that they're all uh, situated in. So if you want to change the background color, you can have a top gradient and a bottom gradient color. Um, again, self-explanatory. Uh, main border settings, if you want to display a border around your entire widget, you can choose a border. Uh, and select the color just from the, the symbol color dropper there. Okay, and uh, just like the border width. If you want to have a box shadow, if you want to put a shadow on your on your ads, you can do that. If you want to have rounded corners, so rounded corners are selected by default. I'm just going to leave that selected. Okay, header settings. Basically, what this is, uh, it's kind of a little bit like what you can see on here. So this would be the header, and this is where the ads would be displayed, uh, and this will be the kind of footer. Okay, so if you want to have a, a custom header section on your ad block. You can just simply check this box, put whatever header text you want in there, and uh, change the sentence in there to, to your preference. Okay, so product title sentence. Okay, so when the products are displayed, this is the title of the product that you'll see. So you can change all of the aspects of that, the colors, uh, whether you want to include the title. Um, you can change the fonts and the sizes. Okay, and how many lines you want the title to display on. And the same with the description. This is the description of the ads that are displayed. If you don't want to show descriptions, just don't check the box. Uh, I mean, some pro products don't actually have descriptions with them, um, but, but most of them do. 
Um, but if you want to uncheck that box and, and don't show descriptions, it's very easy to do. But again, you can change all of the, the color, the font, font size, uh, and how many lines of uh, description are shown. So as I said, very self-explanatory. And the price settings, this is the price of the product, so you can change the color. You can, you can choose not to choose the, show the price if you want, uh, the font, and the size. So I'm just gonna leave all these uh, as they are because uh, like I said, pretty simple, you don't really need to change any of these if you don't want to. Uh, so this is the view more button. So this will be the button that uh, people will mostly click on to go to the particular ad. So uh, so they can change the colors there. If you want to change the uh, top gradient color and the bottom gradient color, you can choose those. And the hover colors. So as I said, very, very simple. The footer, as I, as I mentioned earlier, um, if this was your ad block where all this kind of text is here and this is your header, your footer will be uh, at the bottom of the ad block. So if you want to include a footer and have some uh, custom footer uh, text in there, you can choose that. Uh, okay, so that's it, dead simple. Um, so as you can see, I didn't really change much in there. Just changed a few settings, basically changed a few display settings. So I have one column, uh, three rows, yeah, and left everything else selected and just, just put my ID in the top. So very, very simple. And if you want to preview your advert, just click the preview and you'll see a preview below. Okay, so there's the preview below. So you can see a preview of what the ad's gonna look like. Remember this will randomly change each time. So all you need to do now is either generate your website code or generate your WordPress code, okay? So obviously WordPress code goes on WordPress pages and posts and website code can go on any HTML website you like and also in uh, WordPress sidebars. Now I'm gonna put this one, uh, I've designed this one for a WordPress sidebar. Uh, now you need to have like a, a special uh, plugin installed in order to put a short code on a sidebar. Um, but with this, you don't really have to. I'm just gonna use the website code. Okay, so I'm generate my website code. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And I'm gonna show you uh, what that looks like actually in a website. Okay, so what I've done is I've basically got a 2014 basic website here, uh, which uh, I had a header created. Okay, so it's a simple header created uh, and I've just pasted in three PLR articles. Okay, so that's all I've done there. So I've made three posts um, from PLR articles um, to create this website. Um, I'll show you there's nothing in this section here, DIY tools and accessories, nothing in there. Uh, there's nothing in this section here, home improvement DVDs, there's nothing in here. Okay, so it's totally empty, there's nothing in the sidebar. Okay, all there is is the, those, those three articles which I've posted in here. Okay, and as I said, this is just a basic 2014 uh, website. Okay, nothing special, it just comes uh, def by default with WordPress. Uh, so I'm gonna show you uh, how to paste the, the ad in the sidebar here. Okay, so if I go back to my uh, site, I'm gonna go to, um, gonna go to appearance and widgets. Okay, now content sidebar. All you need is a simple text widget. You, know, you can just grab a text widget from there. Um, and you can see there's nothing in here whatsoever at the moment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste my code in there. Okay, and hit save. In fact, I'm gonna put a title in here. Uh, so let's just call this one. I'm just going to call this one DIY tools and accessories. Okay, just give it a, a bit of a title. You don't need to actually have a title in there if you don't want to. Uh, hit save. Okay, so that's that done. Now if I go back to the site and hit refresh. Boom, uh, there they go. Okay, so we've got an instant sidebar. And there's the power buy. Remember I said, uh, if you want to include that, that will go to uh, through your affiliate link to instant Amazon. And if anybody clicks on any of these, uh, that will take them to the Amazon website. I'll just show you that one. Okay, straight to the Amazon website where they can buy them there through your affiliate link. Okay, so dead simple. Remember you can do this in any blog, any website, any HTML website you like. Okay, so that's a very, very simple way to monetize any website. That's just a sidebar. Okay, I'm just gonna show you um, another little, um, I'm gonna fill out these uh, three blank 
uh, pages what I've got here. Also, because I've got nothing in DIY tools and accessories, I've got nothing in home improvement DVDs, and nothing in uh, home improvement. Okay, so I'm going to go and uh, just fill out these pages very quickly using the Amazon plugin. Okay, so I'm going back to Instant Amazon and put in my affiliate ID, uh, my Amazon Associates ID, and and I'm just going to I'm going to select the DIY and tools again. Okay, so nothing really changing from the last time apart from rather than have um, one column by three okay so one column by three rows I'm gonna have four columns uh, by three okay so I'm gonna make this kind of like a, a main page event okay and that's all I'm gonna change there okay uh, I'm not gonna go and uh, change any of the other settings not needed this time but you, you can if you want to Okay, uh, I'm not even going to bother previewing it because uh, I know it's going to be fine. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and generate the WordPress code. Okay, so there you get a unique WordPress code. I'm going to go and copy that. And I'm going to go to my pages. And you'll see I've got these three pages. DIY tools and accessories, home improvement and home DVDs. All of them have nothing whatsoever in them. Okay, just blank pages. And all I'm going to do is paste my uh, WordPress shortcode in there. And click update okay so obviously if you create a new page just put put a create a new page put a title in there and paste a code in and that's it uh, so now if I go back to uh, my uh, demo site and, I, and I'll show you the the DIY tools and accessories page so if I click on this now boom there we go we've got an instant store I've got the sidebar here with uh, with my DIY um, do it yourself it looks like do it yourself makeup kits in there <laughs> but I suppose DIY um, um, means anything in do it yourself um, so we've got loads and loads of uh, DIY stuff here and all of these are linking back to Amazon website through your affiliate link so I've got an instant store in literally seconds there okay so that's that one page done I'm going to go ahead and do these other two pages just to show you uh, how quick it is. Um, so I've got home improvement DVDs. So I'm going to go back to my instant on. And let's do home improvement DVDs. Uh, oh. Get my code. Okay, so let's do... Uh, going to, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a search term in here and choose a category. So let's do home improvement. And select DVD. Okay, so I'm choosing a search term and a category. Okay, I'm going to have this as a 4 by 3 Okay, so 4 columns and three rows okay and I'm gonna leave those settings as they are and I'm just going to go ahead and generate my WordPress code I'm going to go and copy that in fact I'm going to open pages up in a new window okay so that was my home improvement DVDs page so I'll just show you this page totally blank page just a brand new page I'm just going to go and paste my code in there and click update Okay, go back to the site and click on home improvement uh, DVDs and there you have um, your uh, page on home improvement DVDs okay so you saw how quick that was there and I've still got the the sidebar which I placed in there if you wanted to do uh, a custom uh, sidebar you can you can have the different sidebar uh, whatever you like but there we go that page all done May as well go ahead and do the last one, which is home improvement. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my um, instant Amazon. Okay, because uh, we've got the page open here. So all I really need to do is to, I'm just going to take out um, DVDs. Okay, so I'm going to leave the home improvement search term to take out DVDs, uh, generate WordPress code, copy. Go back to my pages. And click on Home Improvement. Okay, so you see I've got nothing in here. Go and paste my code in there 
and update that page. So now I've got my home improvement uh, section done. Okay, so that's just my general home improvement section. Okay, uh, that's you've got my home improvement DVD section, my DIY tools and accessories section, and of course I've got my um, articles on the on the left hand on the on the main site here. Okay, so I've got like I said, all you do is put the three articles in there. But obviously, uh, if you're building this site, you would maybe just add a few more in and make try and make it as unique as you possibly could. So okay, guys, there that's it. That is uh, how you can very simply uh, use the Instant Airzone plugin, and it's very very powerful. And I hope you make the most of it, guys.